Hi, I'm Nicholas Horaitis, Pico. I'm Amanda Kraft, one of the coffee educators here at Clive Coffee. Uh, hi, my name is Zachary Pierce. I am the technical manager here at Clive Coffee. I am Presley. I am a shipper and receiver at Clive Coffee. Nico, we're going to ask you a few questions here. Um, Sweet. Specifically about March Madness. Okay. Um, and, you know, we'll uh, see how you do. Rock and roll. All right. How many teams play in the NCAA basketball tournament known as March Madness? Uh, let's see. I'm going to guess 17. 12. Maybe. <laughs> A round number, I'm sure. Four. They're 12. What is the Pac-12? I thought that that was about football. There are 12 of them. Are they the best of the 12? <laughs> Top best players. Prime allocated colleges. In the world. And that's what PAC stands for <laughs> today. They have to be the best, obviously. I mean, that's something. Which teams are a part of it? Oh, I can't even name a single one, like Lakers? I don't know. Like uh, uh, UCLA, USC. The Globetrotters. The Suns, obviously, Phoenix. Who won the national championship last year? The Phoenix Suns. University of Connecticut. Ah, U of C, yes. Uh, can you guess what oh, their no. mascot is? The Miners. Uh, Cowboy. Billy the Basketball. What is a charge foul? A charge foul? Is when a basketball bro charges you hard. Oh, the guy has to be really uh, mad about it. You know, it's a mad foul, so. What is a one and one? Two basketball buddies just playing a one-on-one -on -one game for practice. Uh, there's two guys and they gotta the hoop it out. <laughs> oh, it's a free throw and you only get one of them instead of getting two. There is it like a one-on-one -on -one game or something. I mean, that just sounds like two people playing against each other. I know nothing about sports, y'all. What is Iowa State's mascot? Ooh, um, uh. Iowa State, they gotta be corn. I think they have the big archway. A bird of some sort, maybe? Are they birds? <laughs> just the mascot's just a big arch. Like a, an ear of corn. The eagle. A corn husk. They got a lot of corn in Iowa. What is a Cinderella team? Cinderella team. I could go one of two ways. Uh, oh, the rags to riches story, obviously, you know. Now let's dive into some coffee questions. <sighs> All right. Do you need a break or do you need a break? No, this is more fun. Okay. <laughs> what is grind particle size distribution? Grind particle size distribution is verifying that the grounds are uniform, that are coming from the grinder using a sieve or something of sort. When you have a grind, uh, there's going to be a, a sort of a stratification of way smaller and larger particles and your distribution is based on kind of like how those sift out or filter out. How does elevation affect the coffee bean and what adjustments should be made to brew higher elevation coffee? Yeah, higher elevation coffee is usually a little bit more dense than coffee. Uh, like grown at lower elevations. Generally, what folks are usually referring to is that a higher elevation coffee, uh, because of the fluctuation in temperature, it's gonna grow slower, so you're gonna have uh, higher density beans, and typically they're smaller and more dense. So usually that would indicate that they could be ground usually a little finer, because usually when you roast coffee, you're losing density from the coffee, but if a coffee starts at a higher density, that means it can be ground finer. That's all the questions, you're good to go. Thank cool. you so much. All right. And, uh, yeah, we'll be in touch. Never play basketball. I, I've tried. Doesn't work. <laughs>